So, today we're gonna be installing a custom ROM on the OnePlus One in this goddamn wire. So the wire getting stuck on the charging brick aside, uh, this project should be pretty easy because the OnePlus One was, it was pretty much designed by smartphone enthusiasts, so I should have absolutely no issue here. All right, time to bring out the biggest mistake I've ever purchased, <laughs> a Windows laptop. Okay, so first things first in this process, we actually gotta find a ROM to install on this thing. So I would get the fun of installing CyanGen mod on a CyanGen OS phone, but I want good app support, so I'm gonna go with Lineage OS. Lineage OS. Okay, here's the official page for the OnePlus One on Lineage OS. Oh, oh, the wallpaper says never settle? <laughs> That's pretty funny, because I had a OnePlus 8T and I got the update to Oxygen OS 12. You ruined my phone. You ruined it. There's no more stock Android. It's Oppo. You copied it. You motherfucker. But you know what? It's fine, okay? That's modern OnePlus. We're gonna have fun with the actually good OnePlus. So, uh, I guess we just gotta click on installation, huh? Install lineage on OnePlus One. Basic requirements. Read through the instructions. Can't promise you that. Make sure your computer has ADB and fastboot. No, I got that. Enable USB debugging. Oh, you know what? I don't think I've done that yet. 6%? Uh, should be enough for the video, right? If you turn off when I'm installing the custom ROM, I'm gonna lose it. So while this thing boots up, uh, I got a quick question. <laughs> What's this back made of? It's like, it's not quite plastic, it's not quite rubber, it's like some sort of matte finish. Is it, like, felt? Oh yeah, that's all the apps I tested out in Android 6. Uh, shameless plug, you wanna watch the video, click on the corner. Okay, so to enable dev mode, we gotta go to about phone, and then, wh where is it? Oh, build number, right? There we go. Okay, so now that we're in developer options, all we had to do was tick this on, and yep, there you go, it's communicating. Okay, so now that we got that going, uh, we should just be able to access ADB through the command prompt. Okay, so we got a CD to documents, and then list. What do you mean, Ellis? Oh, right, it's Duron Windows. I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, right, the Heisenberg folder is where uh, I keep all the ADB stuff, so let's just change directory into that. Okay, and yeah, perfect. That's about everything we need, you know, except for the actual Lineage OS file, but whatever, we should get going. Let's start up ADB. SDB, God damn it. All right, and everything started up, so all we gotta do is allow debugging, and let's see, is that gonna work now? There we go, we're connected. Okay, so up next on the instructions, we gotta unlock the bootloader, so we gotta head back to ADB and run that command. Okay, and this should work, right? Oh, there we go, the phone just died, perfect. Oh, that's pretty cool, they got a cute little logo for fastboot mode too. They knew you were gonna do this when you bought this phone. Okay, and now all we gotta do is type in fastboot OEM unlock, and... Oh, okay, didn't even need any second confirmation, just went and did it. Oh, okay, uh, it's erasing my phone now. I guess that is the second confirmation. Since the device resets completely, you will need to re-enable USB debugging to continue? Oh, okay, well there goes 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes is way too long. Let me know when you're done. I'm out of here. Okay, so after like, I think it's been like 25 minutes, this thing is finally reset. So let me set it up, enable OEM debugging, and then continue. All right, we got that enabled, so where were we? Installing Lineage Recovery using Fastboot. Oh, okay, so this is where I need to actually download the files we're gonna flash. Lineage OS Archive, and wait, what was the phone called again? Oh, right, it's called Bacon. 2024, March 6th. Wow, this is actually pretty recent. All right, so let's download it. And uh, unfortunately, there's no lineage recovery here, so I'll just throw Twerp on it instead. And I mean, Twerp is better, right? Okay, so let's grab the latest version of Twerp as well. Any day now, come on. Okay, so now that I threw the two files into the Heisenberg folder, we should be good to continue. Okay, so enter the bootloader with this, wait, enter the bootloader. I, I could already do that with the key combo. It tells you right here. So why'd you waste my time by saying to turn it on again? Whatever, may as well take advantage. Okay, so fastboot, flash, recovery, and then the recovery file. So we're gonna do that with twerp. Okay, so fastboot, flash, recovery, optwerp.img. And command failed, what do you mean? Okay, so the computer finds it in fastboot, so why is the command not working? Let's try it again. Sending recovery, okay, seems to be working. And okay, it failed again. <sighs> What's wrong? Oh, okay, of course that was the issue. So I unplugged and replugged the same cable in again and finished. So should be good now. Okay, so all we gotta do now is power off the device and then put it into volume down and power. So volume down, power. Please don't turn on, please don't turn on. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, we are certainly on the right track now. Okay, so let's swipe to allow modifications, and we gotta do some stuff first. So let's wipe all the data. Uh, we gotta wipe the... Wait, what is it again? I keep going back to the Galaxy S3 Lineage OS wiki. Okay, so we gotta type wipe, and then format data. Okay. Okay, and now we just gotta wipe the cache and system partitions, so let's wipe those. Okay, and now all we gotta do is hit advanced, ADB sideload, and push the file to the phone. Alright, so ADB B D sideload lineage op.zip and should be good. Okay, ADB failed to read command, no error, but it says it succeeded on the phone over here, so <laughs> I guess we're good. Uh, let me just reboot it and see. All right, moment of truth. Oh, there we go, Lydia Joes, no issue. Uh, I'd be a bit more excited, but this was probably the easiest phone I could have done this on. Okay, so now that everything's flash, let's get rid of this goddamn thing. Okay, so this is Lineage OS 18.1 or Android 11, so let's get to setting it up. Okay, it literally just asked me for my Wi-Fi password and if I wanted to share data, so uh, I guess we'll just get right into it then. And seems pretty fast. Let's just do a quick test by opening a bunch of the system apps and seeing how fast we can flip through them. Oh wow, yeah, this is actually pretty snappy. Yeah, this is looking to be a pretty usable phone today, actually. Oh, you know what? I forgot to install G apps. Uh, let me go grab Aurora Store instead, then. I think that's actually kind of a blessing in disguise that I forgot to do that, because <laughs> Google Play services slows down this phone by a bunch. Okay, so one thing I find weird off the- oh, f Okay, so, uh, major issue off the bat, uh, I can't swipe down from the top. Uh, it was working on CyanGen OS, so I, I think this is a Lineage OS problem. Okay, so Aurora Store is installed, so let's get to testing a few apps I want to try out. Best thing about Aurora Store? You don't even need a Google Play account to use it. Because the last version this phone had was Android 6, I definitely gotta try out Roblox on this thing now. YouTube didn't exactly work either, so I want to try that on this as well. Oh, and one other cool thing about Lineage OS, there's actually an OLED black theme this thing has. Oh, that's just perfect. I really wish that it came standard with stock Android nowadays. Okay, so I turned the phone off and turned it back on again, and the drop-down menu works again. Perfect, cuz that would have ruined this custom ROM for me. Okay, so first things first, let's test out how Roblox runs on this thing. Now, uh, keep in mind, when I tried to run PUBG on this thing, the phone just crashed like two seconds into the match, so uh, I have no idea how this is gonna work. Oh, okay, so we're starting this shit, huh? Okay, that's a great indicator of how well this game is gonna run. Okay, so we got Natural Disaster Survival loaded up, so let's test out how well this works. Even the app is lagging, this is not gonna run well. Oh man, this is like a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> How do you even play this? I'm trying to change the settings so I can get more frame rate out of this thing and it's not even letting me. I'm just doomed here. So yeah, Roblox on the OnePlus One, definitely not a performer, but it's trying, it's definitely trying. Okay, so the YouTube app didn't work on Android 6, but should work on Android 11. I mean, it has in the past. Oh, okay, so I need Google Play services. Uh, I got a better idea. Now, instead of YouTube, there's actually a de-Googled client that you can use called NewPipe, and it actually works pretty well. Now, this is an unofficial YouTube client, so it can be pretty scary. I wouldn't take the risk if I were you. But I'm totally not saying that just because YouTube pays me. All right, search for the best channel on YouTube, and there I am. Okay, so let's try out a video on this thing. And NewPipe, or YouTube, I guess, works perfectly fine on this device. Now, this version of YouTube actually has some kind of weird controls where if you move your finger on the left or right screen, it controls different elements, but I find it kind of annoying, so I just prefer to disable them. Oh, and this supports picture-in-picture -picture as well? Yeah, that actually works fine. You got picture-in-picture -picture on a free YouTube client. So that's about it for this custom custom ROM installation. Now, I would do more with it, but what is there to do? It's just stock Android. The OnePlus One was a pretty cool phone, and I love how easy it is to custom ROM, but the specs really do not hold up today. I mean, you saw how well Roblox ran on this thing. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, if you want to see this thing come back, I actually don't mind installing another custom ROM on it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you later.